Hi! Within this lecture, we're going to cover a new subject called recursive strings in Python 3. And we're doing that because we want to give a message to the user and in a way that it doesn't fill out all the terminal like it used to do before we set verbose to the false and it will display some running message. Okay? so that user will know that the software is actually running but not in a disturbing way so if you can just go here and say print it's running or sending packets okay let's say sending packets then the user will know that our ethical hacking tool actually runs right so let me save this and test this let me run this right now and as you can see we are now seeing the sending packets message but it shows the same message every three seconds because we have said sleep for three seconds and just do the loop once again so it prints out the same thing for every three seconds in order to overcome this problem we're going to use something called R recursive okay so you have to say backslash R in here and at the end just put a comma and say and is now nothing okay an empty string so what does it do it means that you have to run this print this statement and at the end just don't add anything just delete it and once more add the sending packets thing so without adding a new line you can write the same line with this function with this method okay so let me run this but it won't run if you do it like this because this method is specific to python 3 okay so you have to run it like this python 3 my arp poison.py then it will display the sending packets message without adding a new line but it isn't good enough i think because it just stood there it seems like it's stuck so I will create a number here starting with zero before the while true loop and I will add the number and display it to the user every time this loops from the beginning. So if I say number is number plus equals two, it means that add two for two packets that we are sending I'm going to display it to the user by just adding it to the string in here okay so let's say plus string and then number so we are converting this number to a string and displaying it to the user so if you test this okay if you run this now you will see that we have a live thing going on in here and it's not adding incremental lines but it's changing the number in the same line so it's much much better now and let's stop here and within the next lecture we're going to take care of this keyboard interrupt problem